Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, I want to have a big chat about Song of Strife, what we do know, what I speculate, and what the most important thing to focus on is in the lead up to this first season that we have. And I'm sure we will get much more information as the season approaches with information detailing exactly what's going on. But first of all, before we go get into anything else, I want to go through what the most important thing is. So when we check out the rules, it says that for this one to get into it, uh, point number two, you need to reach hero level 240. So reaching 240 is going to be our main goal. And the other main thing that we have here is that the server, even though it says starts in May, um, it's going to be at least 42 days after the creation of the server to, in my understanding, allow for fairness of play uh, so that everyone has a fair opportunity to get into the season and then compete in the season. So first of all, the level 240 thing. Now, obviously, to get to 240, your main thing to focus on is going to be your AFK stage progression. AFK stage progression is going to give you the uh, increased essences that we need because at the moment, no, no one, if, if you've unlocked, I've, like, so this account i've only had uh the beast where is he the primal lord i've only had him for one day so far we've only had one day of attacks and i'm already swimming in experience and i am stalled on hero essence and that's where i'm at so the big thing is pushing afk stages will increase that a that hero essence income that you get so that that will help you level up so afk stages number one thing to push now i did just make a video yesterday going through 10 things you can do if you are stuck in these stages i definitely recommend going watching that to get a bunch of extra stuff in there but a couple extra tips is i use my fast rewards every day now i am free to play as you get further into the game, you unlock more paid ones. But as free to play in the early game, you have a free, uh, free one every day. You've got a max stack of two, but you only get one each day. And then you can use that. And then you can use one for paid gems, which is 50 gems. I use that one every day for 50 gems. I think it is good value. Uh, and then also later on, you unlock more for 100. Spenders will already have those. Those ones for free to play, not so highly recommending, but definitely do the 50 gem one in my opinion. Now, the other thing that you can do is, and I've mentioned this in previous videos, is with your daily quests, don't collect these until the end of the day because if you're pushing AFK stages, that's increasing your income and these are based off your AFK loot and it's four hours of AFK loot. So that's eight hours total that you get every day from your dailies. And if you happen to push 10, 20 stages in a day and you didn't need that essence to level up your characters at the start of the day, you could have been getting these eight hours worth of essence at a higher return. Now that may not sound like much, but you know when sometimes you're like just a hundred essence away and you're like, I just want to get that level that's the difference that doing this every day and managing this every day can actually make and the same thing applies for collecting these instant loots i do them at the end of the day or unless collecting that much loot is going to get me to my limit break that is then going to allow me to push so definitely focusing on these afk stages is going to be the number one most important thing and also on the ptr i've seen uh, I'll, I'll show an image on screen uh, of my ptr account which i haven't played since global launch so they've got this catch-up uh, system where if you fall massively behind everyone on your server they will give you a boosted progression system to help you get that afk loot as well but all of that is to say you are trying to reach level 240 as fast as you can to unlock this now the the limit that we have to try and reach that level 240 is once again 42 days from the creation of the server now i'm not sure exactly how long it is going to take to reach 240 but as you can see right here on the right hand side of 42 days now i have to imagine that they would like the average amount of play the average player base on a server to be reaching that, including free to play. So I would imagine that if they, they if they if they are looking at it and thinking, okay, the majority of players are not reaching 240 uh, in this uh, this 42 day period, I'd have to imagine we'd get more events and stuff like that to help us aid in that progression. But even if we don't, we have the bulk of players not reaching level 240 in 42 days, you still want to prioritize pushing the AFK stages because then you'll be ahead of everyone else on your server because pushing AFK stages lets you level ahead of them because you're getting higher resources. And then even if it's fragmented when people get into it because you're reaching 240, maybe just past that 42 days, well, you're getting in before the other players and that's how you're going to keep your advantage. So whether everyone gets there at level uh, at, at after 42 days or whether it's a bit lagging, 
you still want to be pushing these things to try and get as much progression as you can so that you can enter it as fast as possible and keep in mind once we get future seasons as well then everyone will be there and everyone will be good to go now the other thing that they do have is going to be the system where once the season is over and we get a new season you will be able to go back and play the seasons and and such like that so I think it's a pretty balanced system. I'm really, I'm, and the season does run for four months. I'm really curious to see more details as we jump into this whole seasons mode. And I want to give you guys my understanding of what I think will happen. I've spoken to a bunch of people. We don't have exact information yet. So I want, this bit is going to be a little bit of speculation on my thoughts on the way the whole season system will work. And maybe this might help you guys with a bit of understanding it because it is quite a confusing thing when we look at it. But because they say that your current artifacts, resonance level, class equipment, hero tiers, hero exclusive equipment, and other progression will not be reset and remain effective throughout Song of Strife season and future seasons. Now, I this is the big thing that's got me confused because they also say new challenges and content will be introduced in Dream Realms, Battle Drills, Legends Trial uh, with a strong Song of Strife season. So I'm not sure. And let me know what you guys think. Once again, this bit is a bit of speculation because we don't have enough concrete information to know exactly how it's working. But when I look at the season, I feel like it's going to be like, I look at it like you're going through a portal into another dimension. I would have to imagine that it will have its own leveling system where you start leveling. And so I, the my, my understanding would be your hero's ascension and your exclusive equipments and stuff like that all count. But then you go back and maybe you start at level one. Otherwise, maybe you start at level 240 and you start leveling past 240 in this separate zone, but that doesn't affect your leveling in the main zone. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's going to be like an independent, almost like event world it's just the way they call it seasons had got me confused for a little bit but i feel like it's going to be like a, an event world that runs parallel with our main world and then we're still going to be doing dream realm bosses arena and stuff in the main world because that's where all our core investment is and then there'll be like mini challenges and competition in the quote-unquote season world which i i just look at like a like a different dimension a different world that we're jumping in and that is my understanding to the way it would work now when they say new challenges and content will be introduced to dream realm battle drills and legends trial with the song of strife season launch so i don't know whether that means there's going to be separate dream realm inside this season world or whether that means because of this season we're getting a new storyline with new enemies and that will introduce new bosses into and and new and new bosses into our dream realm and battle drills inside our main world that's the big thing. I'm curious to see how it works. But my understanding is all your under, all your standard progression that you've worked through to get up to level 240, all your characters, your levels, you will keep leveling beyond that. And I feel like the core competition will still remain to the standard modes. But then this seasonal thing is another way for you to test your, test your might against players in a season. And now for me, I really do like this idea. Once again, it's hard to have a solid formed opinion around it until we actually see exactly the way it works. But I, I'm the guy that loves re-rolling accounts in these types of games and playing over fresh. And to me, the seasons system seems like a way for me to do that, but with the characters that I have and go on like a whole new a separate journey is a dude that was so corny a separate journey as such into a new season and four months i think is a pretty decent time for progression when you're considering that they're expecting players to reach level what what is it 240 in 42 days which is like less than a month and a half so four months for a season is a very long time so i'm so i'm, I'm super curious to see when the game launches I mean, when the season launches, how much of the game is focused around the season and how much is focused around the core gameplay? What kind of updates do we get to the main gameplay? There's a lot of questions that I have and I want to see. I want to hear your guys' thoughts, but like I said, I will keep you guys updated as we find out more official information and stuff like that. But I am nonetheless excited to see. And once again, make sure you keep pushing those AFK stages. I got a video from yesterday that you can go ahead and check out that goes through everything you can do if you are stuck. But AFK stages, the number one most important thing, uh, except for when oh no I, I was on i was timed out i was about to say what it tells you you can't play but i can play again guys let's get around it hey anyway i'm gonna shut up now as always thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers